Humiliated, alone, shocked. I mean, I guess mostly shocked. How is it even possible that he moved on from us so quickly? You know, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Sam Swark doesn't make any sense to me. Tell me, how long were you and I mean, Sam? You know how they say, like, just take it, you know, a day at a time? I, I can't even do that. You know, I got to take it five minutes at a time. Oh, yeah, I'm going to just eat this piece of toast for the next five minutes. Great, cool. I'm going to go on patrol for five minutes. Laundry, five minutes. So, uh, when you realized that you he were... He didn't even give himself the time to heal. Do you know that when we broke up, he said that he couldn't be in a relationship and do this job? It wasn't until I actually got back here, I realized he was specifically talking about me. Now, when you say got back, do you mean when you got back from your undercover assignment? I love him. I love him. I mean, of course I want to be with him. But then I have to keep reminding myself that if we were really meant to be together, then, then we would have worked out our problems, right? I mean, why do I want to be with somebody who's so unstable anyway? Just really hoping. Thank you. I don't, I don't know how I'm helping, I, and I'm not even sure you're really participating. Participating? I am literally telling you everything that's on my mind right now. Yes, yes, and you're doing a, a really good job of that, but I think I can help in a different way other than just sitting here listening. Okay. I mean, I thought the whole point was to talk, but... Yes, yes, that, that's part of it, and the other part is, is trusting me enough to let me guide you. All right. Do you have difficulty with other people guiding you? I mean, I guess I've always been the one to lead. You know, I'm an only child. Well, why don't you tell me a little bit about your parents then? Uh, my father was an officer, which is why I got into policing in the first place. He's a good man. You know, he did his best with me. And, uh... My mom's a social worker. She left when I was 13. Does this make you feel uneasy? No. Tell me more about your feelings when you're not the one leading. I guess I start to feel a bit anxious. And how does that feel physically? Um, I get knots in my stomach, you know, and I start to just get extremely hot. Um... I immediately start to think about the worst case scenario so that no matter what happens, I'm going to be prepared. Do you remember the first time you had that feeling? This is going to sound really stupid, um, but it's when I got my first bra. Why don't you tell me about that day? Okay, you know, it was a few weeks after my mom had left. In uh, gym class, <laughs> every girl that was in the change room had a bra except for me. I was really embarrassed. You know, there was no way I was going to tell my dad that. So I immediately went home and I got my allowance money, figured out a bus route, and went to the nearest department store. Found the first double A bra I could find. Super ugly. What do you think would have happened if you'd asked your dad for help? He would have bought me the bra. He would have probably bought me every kind, every brand, every color. When we start doing everything for ourselves, it becomes more difficult for us over time to ask for help. We become possessive of our own problems. For the first time in a long time, I let somebody lead, and I got left again. So where does that leave me now? Well, why don't we try to figure that out?
Thank you.